Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video on my channel. My name is Josh Van of ShowMeFootball.com and ArrowheadAddict.com and I wanted to make a quick video for you guys tonight to talk about the Ronald Jones signing from today because uh, it's actually late at night, the day of the signing, and uh, I still wanted to make a quick video because uh, I know a lot of you have been asking why I'm uploading videos at like 11, 12, 1 o'clock at night, and it's just because I'm traveling right now. It's currently 11.30 here in Mississippi, and when I'm traveling, I just have a little bit of time at the end of the night when I'm settling down um, to talk about some of the moves that the Chiefs have made, and boy, have they made a lot of moves while I've been traveling, um, but they yet again made a free agent signing today, and former Tampa Bay, or Tampa Bay Buccaneers running back Ronald Jones, and first thing I have to say about this is I really, really like it. Um, that's also because I wrote about Ronald Jones earlier this offseason before free agency started as a potential option for the Chiefs. Um, for Arrowhead Addict, I wrote an article about three free agent running backs to consider. Ronald Jones was my first choice. Um, so if you guys don't mind, I'm actually going to read you an excerpt from that article uh, to give you my thoughts from Ronald Jones even before the signing. So without further ado, here it is. Uh, Tampa Bay running or Tampa Bay Buccaneers running back Ronald Jones could be an intriguing flyer for the KC Chiefs to take when he becomes a free agent this offseason. Jones, who is still just 24 years old, has never really been able to put everything together with Tampa Bay since being drafted in the second round in 2018, which forced Tampa Bay to take a running back by committee approach with other additions such as Gio Bernard and Leonard Fournette. After post Posting just 428 yards rushing in 2021, which was way down from his rushing totals the last two seasons, Jones' stock isn't very high and he will likely have to latch on somewhere as a rotational back for cheap to try and revive his career, which is what ended up happening. He's still young and could have some more upside than your typical free agent running back. Luckily, the Chiefs are looking for a rotational back to add to their lineup this offseason, and despite not having the production, Jones still possesses good traits and decent explosion. He didn't run the fastest 40-yard dash uh, coming out of Southern California, but his play speed definitely says differently about him. Jones also has playoff and Super Bowl experience with the Buccaneers, which can be valuable for a team looking to get back. So yeah, guys, overall, I really like the Ronald Jones signing. The Chiefs made this signing for depth. I would assume that Ronald Jones is going to take on kind of the role that will be left behind by Daryl Williams last year. Um, he's going to be a guy that can be um, a little bit different um, than someone like Clyde edwards Hilaire or even Derek Gore. Um, somebody like that, or Daryl Williams, like I just mentioned a second ago, because he has that explosiveness and athleticism that they were missing. Now, Jones is still an average athlete relative to the position and really relative to the NFL in general. He's graded out as an average athlete. Like I said, not the fastest 40. He runs about a 4.6 coming out of school, and uh, he isn't elite in any category, including size, but... He is a, he's just a good player. Like he is a decent running back. He's a good player. Um, some of his strengths, uh, he's very good. Um, like I said, when he gets around the corner and he gets an open space, um, he's got home run ability. He can make guys miss. He's very good at running away from defenders. You know, he'll do whatever it takes. He's very physical. Um, I like him a lot. And like I said, he's coming here with Super Bowl experience. He played with Tom Brady for a couple years in the Buccaneers. Um, so I really like that about the signing. He's also still very young. He's only 25 years old. Um, you don't 24, 25, but you don't really get free agents like that um, that young for what the Chiefs got him for. So I really like the signing for that reason too. Couple concerns with Ronald Jones: one, his pass blocking and his pass catching isn't really great. Um, his hands aren't the best either. I also know fumbling is. Um, a cause for concern with him. Um, from what I remember, he fumbled twice last year uh, with the Buccaneers, which isn't terrible, but definitely something that he needs to clean up. Ronald Jones will be coming here to not be a number one back. Maybe he could fight for some running back one snaps, even though I, I do think the staff wants to give Clyde his obligatory share of the carries, and he's going to be the feature back um, when the season starts, I'm sure, um, until, you know, maybe he gets injured or Ronald Jones just outperforms him to the point where they have no choice. Um, could definitely be another Jarek McKinnon type of signing, especially if they don't bring Jarek McKinnon back, although Ronald Jones is 
um, definitely someone who you can depend on um, health wise to be there and also just way younger than Jarek McKinnon too. I do think people should temper expectations with Ronald Jones a little bit, though. Like, I was on Twitter earlier, and I got into it with a couple people that were comparing him to Kareem Hunt and Jamal Charles. I know he had some Jamal Charles comparisons coming out of school. Guys, he's not Jamal Charles. We're far enough into his NFL career to know that he's not Jamal Charles. Jamal Charles was one of the most explosive running backs um, the position has ever seen. Ronald Jones isn't exactly that. He has big playability, but he doesn't really have the IQ, the pass catching, you know, the whole package that Jamal Charles had. Um, Ronald Jones is a decent running back, though, and that's what the Chiefs got here in this signing. I do think he has potential to do things here, though, that he never quite got to do with the Buccaneers. He's coming to run behind an offensive line that is revamped um, and was a absolute road grading unit last year with uh, guys who are all also young, just like him, and they're coming off um, another year where they've all played together and have gotten a chance to get used to playing with each other. Also, with Tyreek Hill now being departed and the Chiefs going with kind of a wide receiver by committee approach for right now, um, I definitely think they could lean on the running game a little bit more, especially because, like I said, with that offensive line and how well they blocked last year in the running game and how teams uh, played them uh, in the past, um, they're going to have to run the ball more, whether Andy wants to do it or not. Like He's going to have to run the ball more, and Ronald Jones gives you another quality option that you can run the ball with behind that offensive line and hopefully take advantage of some of the boxes that teams will give you because even though Tyreek Hill won't be there anymore, they sign guys that can stretch the field like uh, Marquez Valdez-Scantling and uh, Juju Smith-Schuster and uh, Travis Kelsey are still going to be able to work the middle of the field and stuff. So it's not like the Chiefs won't still see some light boxes that they can take advantage of. Um, I think I kind of got the point across, though. Like, guys, I I like the signing. It's a good, decent running back that the Chiefs have now added um, to their running back room. You know, that's all there is to say about it. Uh, I do think uh, he will be pretty good here. I I I like the signing. It's the explosiveness they needed to add to the position. I also don't think they're done adding there yet. Maybe we could see them even draft a guy in the later rounds. Um, But, yeah, those are my thoughts on the signing, but I'd love to hear from you guys as always. So with all that being said, Make sure you like, share, and subscribe so more Chiefs fans can find this. And make sure you check out my work on showmefootball.com and arrowheadaddict.com. I will see you all in the next one.